Over on my podcast, From John to Justin, I looked at the lives of every single Prime Minister in Canadian history, all 23 of them, and now I'm ranking them from the worst to the best. And we're on number 7. And my Twitter followers, they chose Lester B. Pearson. I have Lester B. Pearson a bit higher than number 7. For number 7, I chose a controversial figure, one that I'm not a particular fan of, but his impact on the creation of Canada and its early development it can't be ignored. My number seven choice is Sir John A. Macdonald. Canada's first Prime Minister was a dominant figure in Canadian Confederation. His political career would span half a century, and he served as Prime Minister for most of Canada's history in the 19th century. He would serve from 1867 to 1873, and from 1878 to 1891, when he passed in office. Only William Lyon Mackenzie King has served longer. His government would establish the Northwest Mounted Police, expand the country through the bringing in of Manitoba, British Columbia, Prince Edward Island, and the Northwestern Territory. His largest achievement would be the construction of the Canadian Pacific Railway to link British Columbia with the rest of Canada. His government also fought efforts to give provincial governments more power away from the federal government in Ottawa, and he would enact the national policy, which dominated the Canadian economy until the 20th century. And while his accomplishments as Prime Minister helped craft the Canada we know today, he is a controversial figure in Canadian history. He would approve the capital punishment of Louis Riel in 1885 due to the Northwest resistance, despite calls for clemency. His government also implemented the Chinese head tax, developed a residential school system, and his policies towards the Indigenous would be disastrous, including restricting their movements from the reserves they had been pushed to, and many feel that he built the country of Canada on the back of the Indigenous, causing irreparable cultural harm that is still felt to this day. So that was Sir Johnny MacDonald, who will be number six. Tune in next time.